hello friends welcome to knowledge india in today's tutorial we are going to give you an introduction of asp.net we'll discuss various things like how does it work what are its advantages but before going to that uh, let us quickly discuss a few things about the web design okay. whenever we see any web page okay there are basically three things which comprise of which comprise a web page for example if we see this google's home page we are able to see some text written here okay there is an image of google which is there here in center now try to uh, focus a bit and see this particular text is there in black these things are there in blue in color whenever i take my mouse up an underline comes these things are aligned in center whereas uh, this particular text is coming on the left hand side of the web page apart from the content to do these alignment and beautification we use css which is cascading style sheet so the uh, all this layout and beautification part of any web page that is handled by the css that uh, that will be seeing in a in a different tutorial we'll see in detail about css how to write it and how to use it for our web pages then the third part is the functionality of any web page uh, there will be there will be a functionality involved in that now suppose take the example of this google web page and uh, we can we can search some content from internet on this page for example if i write say css and i press the center so i i i basically got uh, some results out here now this is the functionality of this this web page in this text box when i write something and then i press this particular button a list of results come here okay uh, uh, uh. now to achieve this functionality some coding has been done some functions are written which because of which we are able to get this to achieve this functionality the scripting which is done or the functions which are written these are of two types for a web page it it could be client side scripting or it could be server side scripting for client side scripting we have javascript vb script these things to write whereas for server side we have asp.net php jsp these technologies so now let's coming to uh, let's come to this asp.net what is asp.net it is a server side scripting technology which is developed by microsoft when we say server side it means that the scripts which are written on which are written in that web page they get executed on an internet server in in case of asp.net it is iis so that the functions or scripts which are written in that web page will get executed on iis the full form for iis is internet information services it, this is the web server from microsoft it comes with uh, with uh, with most of the operating systems of microsoft from windows xp professional and above you will have iis inbuilt in that okay you you uh, you also need to understand that our browsers which is uh, say our firefox or internet explorer anything our browsers understand only html okay they will not understand these asp tags now before that let me tell you uh, what how how will uh, how will this asp tag look like suppose there a particular a text box is there okay so to write a text box in asp the tag will be will look something like this okay it starts with a with this uh, angular brackets then asp colon text box then again it gets closed with a with an angular bracket and then uh, as you know it is similar to html to close that tag you will put a slash and write it again okay as you can see here asp.net pages they have the extension as .aspx as you know that for html pages it is generally .htm or .html in the same way for asp.net pages it is .aspx now let us uh, see and uh, understand how the how the asp.net works actually so what happens is whenever uh, a browser which is your uh, uh, which is your client okay in terms of web technology which is your client for example firefox or opera or internet explorer 
it whenever it request for an html page the web server returns the page directly to it but whereas whenever uh, suppose your client is asking for for a for an asp.net page what your web server would do understand here your browser asked for the for an aspx page your web server saw that okay it is an aspx page so it it gave that uh, aspx page to the asp.net engine now the job of this asp.net engine is to go through that web page line by line character by character or word by word and what it would do is it will convert the asp.net tags to its corresponding html tags okay in that web page it will convert and then it will return that page back to web server and web server would send it to the browser because as we discussed earlier browsers understand only html they will they will not understand the asp tags so now though browser requested an asp dot i mean an asp dot net page it got converted into its equivalent html tags and it came back to the browser but then the next question comes why server side scripting what 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 is its advantage why should we go for that well server side scripting has uh, has lot of positive uh, positive features with it like you get a a really big class library uh, the advantage of class library is that you have already you know pre built classes which you can just directly uh, directly you can make an object of that and you can start using so you get a lot of pre built functions you don't have to code for those functions you can, they are ready to you and you can just uh, uh, you can just start using that you have a lot of enhanced security features when you do server side scripting then the next thing i mean uh, you have this event rich server side controls you uh, you can uh, instead of just having the plain html controls you have server side controls when you are using asp.net which uh, which makes programming a lot more easier for you you have to uh, you have to uh, write less amount of code because as i told you a lot of uh, functions would be available to you just uh, which you can use without writing uh, any more logic for them okay uh, why uh, what is the uh, in what way asp.net is better than the than the other uh, server scripting platforms which are there uh, well some of those are uh, it because it has these advantages it has a powerful and easy to use id which is uh, visual studio okay microsoft visual studio there is also a free version of uh, visual studio which is called visual web developer express you can download it free we will uh, we will discuss more on these things uh, uh, this particular id has faster development features uh, because it has a lot of drag and drop functionalities you can uh, just uh, drag and drop controls and uh, and write few lines of code and then make things work it is easy to configure and deploy the asp.net websites when whenever we have you have to go live whenever you have to uh, really start your website and you have to put it on internet it is very easy with asp.net okay so uh, so this is how asp.net makes web development easier we'll be seeing uh, more things related to asp.net like configuring configuring the environment for it and going further with its development in the next tutorials thanks for watching bye bye